So we officially 100%ed grounded everybody. If you guys are following me on my YouTube channel, you guys saw one of the shorts that I posted up where we have officially hit the 100%, guys. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's your boy, Big O Nuggets. And today, I'm just going to talk to you guys about what you need to do to 100% the game. Also, if you guys have any questions regarding 100% the game, drop them below on this video. Uh, as I make, I'm going to be making different videos covering, you know, exactly what you need to do, where to find everything you need to 100% the game. So comment below and I will answer all these questions throughout the next couple videos as we go. But I'm just going to go a little overview of what you need to do to 100% the game. Now, of course, you're going to need to officially complete the full game, right? Go through everything, find Tully, you know, and make yourself big again. And bam, there you go. You know, you got to at least officially complete up until Let's you get to the, uh, the machine to make you big again. Now we're going to go through all the little nitpick stuff that you need. You're going to need to complete or at least peep every single uh, insect in the game. Now you don't need the gold cards. They did say you don't need to get all the gold cards. Uh, but there is a thing that I saw somebody who hacked or has, you know, hacked uh, grounded that you can get over 100%. So now all you completionists out there, which I'm actually going to start working on this little by little, is trying to get all the gold cards for all my bugs. But... You at least the minimum you need to 100% the game is at least peep every single one of them, and that's it. Now we're gonna go with Wendell. Now you are gonna need to find all of these, all this data, all the all the files, all the tapes, everything, even the miscellaneous. Now I will say for this, for all this data, you pretty much find all this as you progress through all of the all of the labs. You go to the undershed. As long as you fully explore every everything in the shed, you know, the hedge, the pond, Black Ant Hill, if you looked for everything, all these files are there. So you can easily find this if you're if you're looking through everything properly, you're gonna find all of this all these data sheets right here. Easy, easy. And then the miscellaneous are all pretty much in all of the research sent uh, all the all the research labs all around the map that you find. That that's where that's where the miscellaneous is gonna be. Now for Ominent, these are going to be all the skeletons that are all around the game. And I will be making a video covering all the locations to all the skeletons because you do you are going to need to get all the Ominent information. And they all come with at least a, um, uh, a file and a photo. And you need to get all six photos. There's six photos you need to get. And then the last things you get and the data sheet here is pretty much once you defeat uh, Spec Specter or Specter. At the end, you get the final spot. Of course, the burgle stuff, all the uh, burgle transcriptions here is little songs and stuff that you need to find. These are scattered around the map. I will be having a video where to find these in particular. All the chips here, stump, wood pile, picnic, sandbox, sunken, outpost, and red ant hill burgle chip. And of course, all the super chips from all the all four of the main labs. Now with the stuff, you get, as I said, you get a lot of this throughout the game. You get the, the password when you do the haze lab. You are going to need to get ev all the moss keys. You do need all the moss keys. Uh, I mean, not the moss keys, but just the keys to unlock all the chests, of course. You need the boss notes, which is just the mantis and the brood mother. And these recipe notes is pretty much the ones you find the ant totem, abomination totem, water log recipe, frostbite recipe, and the water log recipe. These are all pretty much what you get from a lot of these chests as well. So you get once you get the the keys you will unlock all these and there's an ant totem and abomination totem are the ones that are hidden i will have a video where you guys can find those as well and you're gonna have to find all the locations you're gonna have to find every single location in uh in each area of the map the grasslands the pond trash heap sandbox picnic table haze hedge an upper grass yard and undershed you're gonna have to find every single one of these important like i said the majority of these you find as you explore and as you go through the story you will find a good bit of these but uh some of them are a little hidden sometimes you're gonna have to look at them at a different angle i know for me for the pond i couldn't get the pond dome for the longest and i just went around slowly 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 until it finally popped up so you're gonna have to look at each of these in a particular angle if they never popped up so just a heads up on that the other thing scabs you're going to need to find all the scabs now i will say this you get four scabs starting off the game already you get the classic scab the night scab high contrast and lcd scab these four you're, you're gonna have already you need to find another 48 scabs all right 48 scabs that are hidden throughout 
the, the map, the game. Some of them are pretty straightforward as you progress. Some of them are kind of hard to find. Some of them are really hidden. As long as you get the scanner, um, and you get the scanner like you get the scanner for the milk molars, it will pop up for you pretty easy. Uh, and I will have a video on where to find the majority of these because some of them, like I said, are, are pretty hidden. Some of them are in, in some pretty hidden spots that are kind of hard to find. So we will be covering this as well. So the one last thing you are going to need to do to complete the game to get 100% is the mixers. Now the mixers are are going to be a requirement that they did add with one, with the latest updates as well. Uh, I think it was a 1.03 update that the mixers are required to 100% the game. So you're going to have to complete all the mixers in the bottom yard. As well as all the super mixers in the upper yard. And I actually have a video on my channel talking about them, guys. So you guys want to check out those videos uh, about the mixers. If you're trying to 100% the game, uh, uh, I actually have those videos covering all that. So, yeah, mixers, uh, they're not as challenging. They're not that hard. I think the upper yard might be just a little bit more challenging. But, like I said, I have some videos. Check it out, guys. But, yes, mixers have to be complete to 100% the game. Also, you are going to at least have all your mutations unlock to level one you need you don't need to have them all fully upgraded like i don't have my the wizard one fully fully up to level three but you're going to need to um uh, at least unlock all your mutations to level one each and every single one of them this is going to be another requirement to 100 percent the game and i will be covering on how to get uh all of the mutations some of them you just get from just honestly playing the game like cardio fan natural explorer like, but I will be covering every single one of them so you guys know exactly how to uh, unlock them all. But yes, you, you're going to need to get every single mutation unlocked, at least to level one as well. All right, the other thing you're going to need is to fully have all your milk molars, the ones for you personally and for your group, completely maxed out. Um, and I will have a video on where to find all the milk molars on the, the bottom yard and where to find all the milk molars in the upper yard. And I actually have two extra milk molars, uh, regular milk molars. So I wonder if they're gonna be adding, you know, expanding the, the milk molars and adding some more content, maybe some more bugs or something that we're gonna need to find a couple more milk molars, maybe a new area, who knows? But you are gonna need to get them all maxed out if you're going to want to 100% the game. The other thing too, is you're honestly going to have to purchase everything in the sign shop. And I will say just get it all, everything, everything, everything. Spend all your raw science. Uh, see, I have 9,000 raw science left. And the thing is, too, um, I would also just get as much raw science as you can because I don't think, I don't know, I haven't seen, and, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but, like, I don't know, I don't think there's, like, in a specific amount of raw science that you need to get, but you do need to at least spend the, all the raw science that you need to purchase everything in a science shop. You're going to have to purchase everything in the sign shop, and, and that's already a good bit of raw science. Uh, but I would just try to get all the raw science that you can. I personally haven't re gotten ev all the raw science. There's still a couple spots around the map that I haven't gotten, but I still 100% of the game, uh, and, and I got all the raw science. Other thing is, too, I would analyze everything as well. Analyze every single thing, too, because that's going to help you get more raw science and more brain power as well for uh you to unlock all your stuff um now there's still i i think there's still like a thing or two that i still haven't like fully unlocked there's still some question marks um so i don't think you gotta like get everything everything analyzed but i would just analyze it all just so you guys can get all the um all, all the raw science that you can because i still think there's still some things that that are still in the question mark so that could potentially mean that we can get some more work. We might be getting some more stuff added to the game eventually. Who knows? But just scan everything. Get all the raw science you can. And uh, and that's pretty much it. And that is it, everybody. That's literally all the things you need to do to 100% grounded. Now, I hope this video was helpful. Again, any questions, feel free to comment below, guys. Like I said, I'm going to do my best to answer everything and help you guys the best I can. I've been playing Grounded since day one. I absolutely love this game. I actually just started a brand new save. We're going to try to 100% a whole nother save so that's gonna be our second one uh so wish us luck we're doing that on our live stream we did a charity stream just the other day and we raised a good bit of money we ate some bugs i ate a tarantula and a scorpion and some pupa and like oh man it was a lot of stuff it was fun so keep an eye out for for when we do all kinds of different charities all kinds of different stuff ground is definitely gonna be one of the games we're gonna be doing a lot of things still for like this right here guys our build 
I uh, I do have this. We're gonna be covering different types of builds. This is the um ladybug build with the red fire ant um or the fire ant shield with the with the tick blade and you're gonna have your uh ladybug armor on the sleek path so you guys can see what i'm talking about sleek so it has increased healthing and block strength so when you block you get more heals with the ladybug and then you get the steel health with the uh with the tick blade so like i said we got a lot of we got still a lot of things coming up to cover on grounded guys so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.